I began to experiment with uh, clay, and um, and I was all I was doing it kind of in hiding. I didn't tell anyone, including my family, that this is what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And finally, it just kind of got to the point where uh, I suddenly recognized that this is really what I came here to do. You know, this it gave me so much joy, and I remember after much struggle on how to mix the clay and, and all of these kinds of things. It was a big learning process and over an eight year period or so, it took me that much time to learn because uh, it was a, kind of like a self-discovery and I didn't really want to go to anyone to say, uh, how do you do this or can you teach me? Because I just, at that point I was on a uh, mission, I think, of self-discovery. This is an example of fire clouding on the pottery and this is done um, unintentionally. It's just whatever the firing process creates. So there's no way to control the designs, uh, except probably in the fact that this piece has been fired uh, upside down, so therefore the fire clouding is on the top. And it changes variation in color, and it just um, it adds to the design of the piece, which is done just by the the fire, the, the elements in the clay itself, and just the whole firing process. So it's often um, a lot of fun. It's like cloud watching. You can create designs in the, in the uh, fire cloud design. And this piece is, was fired right side up, so therefore the clouding is on the top of the piece. And you can know, what came out really interesting about this is that it has, almost like a veil, a very light uh, veil across the top of the piece. And the, the bottom portion has no fire clouding at all on it. So it's, uh, if some of the pieces that I fire come out without a fire cloud, maybe a small piece that might be tucked in under some of the larger pieces, somehow they feel just uh, a little incomplete without a fire clouding because this feels like the fire clouding is a part of this kind of pottery. I'm thankful for the gift that I received to be able to, the, to do this work, and then also to have recognized it. Um, although it took me a long roundabout way to get here, perhaps those experiences were necessary for me to be clear about what uh, my intention was for how I'm, what I'm here for and what I came to give and be and so I'm I'm very thankful for that and um, and also encourage others who are uh, doing the work and to just respect the clay and uh, their families and their traditions that they come from and um, and love what they do